Welcome to Outlander TV. I'm your host, Freddie Beat. I'm here with Lipstick Letters. That's Tina Turner. Yes, that's really her name. And Jenny Lord. So before we get going, your name always reminds me of a porn star because of Tracy Lords. Yeah, but what you don't understand, uh, first off, Tracy Lords has an S at the end of her name. I know, but Lord, I know, Lord. No, I'm the one and only Jenny Lord, so there's no confusion, regardless of what videos you may have seen. No, I haven't seen any. I just know she's who she Lord. is. She's the Lord. She's the Lord. And no implication about you. Well, you know, it is what it is. We're here in the Gay TX. Uh, it's Pride Weekend 2011 at Rusty's, the first ever Outlander Fall Festival. So you just finished your set. How did it feel to, well, one, to be part of this historic Wonderful. moment? Fantastic. Amazing. Like, uh, out of this world. Yeah. I love festivals and supporting the gay cause, pride cause, just makes it that much better. It's been fantastic. And did I say we're at Rusty's? We're at Rusty's. Rusty's on the dance floor. Dance floor. Yes. With the Texas flag. The bands are going on. The, the show continues on while we're doing this. And as the only semi-country band, it's kind of appropriate that we're here with the Texas flag. <laughs> right? <laughs> Little player. I've seen a Lone Star. We'll be ready to go. <laughs> How was the audience? The audience was fantastic. It was phenomenal. Yeah. Very receptive, very loving, lots of smiles. We had a great time. I always love coming to Austin, you know, it's, Austin's just so loving and receptive, and Austin's where my heart is, so it's always very nice being able to come back here. When are you, you're coming for sure, for permanent status at some point? Yes, no, maybe? You know, I, I, I choose not to make plans, <laughs> because they always fall through, so. You'd like to. Ask right? me what I'm doing tomorrow, I might be able to answer that one, but don't ask me what I'm doing. It's a goal. It's Let's a goal. Say it's a it's goal. a goal for Lipstick Letters to come to the Eventually. GTX. There is potential. Potential. Okay, so the next part of the interview I want to do what I call my lotto interview. I have a list of 100 questions, okay. and you pick three. Actually, I'm going to read my list. I never win the lottery. This you never win, you. The, <laughs> win the lottery. I don't even win scratch-offs. Okay, so. so. Yeah. Yeah. You might want to pick the numbers. Yeah. You can pick the numbers. <laughs> Let me read my little spiel for the folks at home. Okay. We'll do it. The idea is simple. I have a list of 100 questions that are mixed bag of musical, fun, serious, and silly. You'll pick three and I'll ask you and you'll answer. Okay. Okay, so what are your numbers? All right, I want to pick one. 41. I don't know if I remember, but I'll try. 41. Uh-huh. 72. 33. Okay. 41. In this digital age, is the idea of the concept album dead? I don't think so. Absolutely not. I don't think anything dies, especially with music. I mean, I look at anything, everything comes full circle, and I, I think if it was done correctly, a concept album would be awesome. Besides, music is art, and art is abstract, and perception, and one person can accept it one way, and another person can accept it another way. So, no, it's not there. Yes. Very much alive. Very. Would you all ever do a concept album? Absolutely. If I can find a way to write one, <laughs> you bet. You will. She's amazingly talented. Well, Songwriter. Fiddle player extraordinaire. <laughs> Love this girl. <laughs> so. Okay, so I forgot the numbers. What was the 72. 72. 72. Uh, okay. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Brit Britney's hits or, Chris oh. or Christina's Grammys? Christina's Grammys. <laughs> I love Christina's voice. Woo! Her soul, her personality, her genuine, who she is. No matter where she is in her life, she's real. Absolutely. I will ever answer that question. Oh, <laughs> uh, no comment? I, I, I have a no comment. As a songwriter, it's very hard for me to relate to either of those so I leave that to Tina. Okay. <laughs> Performer. I'm an Tina fan too. I think she is a songwriter. Let me just say that. But we can leave it at amazing, that. <laughs> amazing vocalist and performer. <laughs> what was the third number? 33. Oh, three is my lucky number. I'm multiples of multiples three. Multiples of I think, three. Oh, I think my life has worked out where Entire. number combinations work. So you all have done awesome. it. Awesome. TMI probably. But yes, 33. Oh, we love you, Freddie. A good number. <laughs> If someone were to play you in a movie of your life, who would it be and why? Oh my god. Both I've of you. I've wondered this so many times. You go first. Well, I'll say Or you can also say for the other person. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Oh, you want Sandra no, Bullock too? No, 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 I just love, I love her personality. I love her genuine way that she comes across. And she's beautiful. Would you want her to dye her hair blonde? No, actually, my hair is dark. Naturally dark like okay. Yeah, I just 
have lots of colors in my hair. It's kind of the musician thing. But, and I love her. You are never picking with everyone again. I have no idea. What we can do three more. No, what are you uh, Ashley Judd. You know, oh my god, Ashley why did you Judd. say Ashley Judd? Because she's gorgeous like you are. No, let me tell you. Do you know how many times I've been told I look like Ashley That's Judd? That's why I that got off here. that you just picked Ashley Judd. I feel like kind of of remind me of Michelle Branch, but she's not really an actress. Yeah, like no, we're not that. Ashley oh, Judd, that is so funny. I get that a lot. <laughs> I get that a lot. Well, okay, Ashley Judd. I'm Ashley. cool with that. She's hot. I'm totally fine with that. And who would you pick for Tina? Someone different? No, or she wants to be Sandra Bullock. Uh, well, I support Sandra whatever she wants. Right, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Correct me on camera if you want to. I'm putting you on blast. <laughs> and I want, I want Tina to be played by Rachel Happy. Okay. <laughs> Plus, I've ever? always had a crush on Sandra Bullock, so it works out just fine. <laughs> Okay. 
If we only got to listen to one of your songs, which one would it be? Oh, no. We have to pick one? Each yeah. of you can pick one, so you can pick two. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no, so I got this. I just wrote my very first blues song ever, and it might be my favorite song I've ever written. It's called All Along, and uh, if you only listen to one song I ever wrote at this point in my life, on Today, September 10th, 2011, Pride, Austin Pride, Pride, Austin Pride, an Outlander Fall Festival, yeah. All Lipstick Letters in the House, Lipstick Letters, <laughs> All Along, first blues song ever wrote, very, very, you performed it tonight, right? I did. Was that the first time you performed it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, tonight? No, it's practically. They heard it here first. Like, it's only five days old, and it's my favorite, so absolutely. Tina Turner. I like to say that. Tina Turner. Let's love, got to do with it. What's love, got to do, got to do with it. What's love, but second-hand emotion. What's love, got to do, got to do with it. Tina Turner lyrics? Yeah. Yeah. Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken by the Tina Turner? I took a picture of that, so if you have Facebook, I'm going to post it on her page. She did it. <laughs> Favorite song, Tina Turner. Are you trying to avoid the question? Yes, because I'm like, um, she's talking, I'm like, I love this song, I love this song, I love this song. Like, out Top of the blue. your head right now, out, out of the blue. Here. Oh, out the same blue. one? Yeah. No, out of the blue. Oh, that's not the blue song. It's called Sorry. Out of the Blue. Out of the Blue. Did you do that one tonight as well? Yes, yes. we did. That was our second song that we played tonight. Oh, yes, I hear that one. Yeah. So, thank you, ladies. Do you have any shout outs before we go? Just thanks to Rusty's and Austin and BBUs for having us out here. We love to very much play the Pride Festival and we hope to see you again next year. The Republic. Thank you, the Republic. The Republic. Yes. The Real Pop Polio.